Hello, welcome to the Monday, February 27th, 2017 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Google and Cloudflare announced an interesting vulnerability in Cloudflare's infrastructure. Now, if you're not familiar with Cloudflare, Cloudflare offers proxy services for large numbers of websites, anything from small hobby websites for which Cloudflare offers free services to real massive websites that use Cloudflare for load balancing. The problem discovered by Google was that Cloudflare occasionally includes random memory content in pages that it serves back to users. The memory content is not at all related to the page that's being served. So it could be from a different domain, a different user, and similar to a heartbleed, it could include passwords, session cookies, and secret SSL keys. So the nature of the vulnerability does appear to be somewhat similar to Heartbleed, but it's limited to Cloudflare. It's not affecting any websites that are not hosted behind Cloudflare's proxies. Now, the vulnerability is not at all related to SSL. Uh, there are three specific features that Cloudflare uh, points out that cause the leak in conjunction with uh, unbalanced HTML tags, email obfuscation, server-side excludes, and automatic HTTPS rewrites did cause the problem. For these features, uh, Cloudflare does actually parse the HTML on the site. And then of course, uh, that's where the leak happened if some HTML tag wasn't closed correctly. So what does it really mean to you? Well, if you are hosting a website that's behind Cloudflare's proxies, then there is a chance that uh, your user's data was leaked as part of this event. You should probably notify your users, check with Cloudflare if they have any more guidance there. There's also a chance that web pages with leaked data got cached by Google, but Google states that they already went through their cache and removed affected pages. As an end user, you very likely did use some websites that did take advantage of Cloudflare's proxies. Now, there are a couple of sites out there that allow you to check if a site does use Cloudflare. Chances that data was leaked is pretty slim, but probably doesn't hurt to change passwords if you used any affected site. According to Cloudflare, about one in three million requests were affected by this vulnerability. But this is not the only Google-related uh, security issue that we had uh, this uh, weekend. Uh, Google also released a proof of concept for a denial of, of service vulnerability in Microsoft Edge and in the Explorer after the 90-day hold on the vulnerability expired. Nothing to panic about. It just crashes these browsers. So don't really think the impact is all that severe. And while some attacks try to stay quiet and uh, in the shadows, uh, Tom wrote up an attack that for its lack of uh, silence, he's calling dynamite phishing. Essentially, what the attacker here is doing is a somewhat automated scheme where phished accounts are immediately being used to send more phishing emails, kind of leading to an explosion of this particular type of phishing email. The attacker is after uh, Google Docs and with that, of course, also uh, Gmail uh, credentials that are uh, being used uh, to spread this particular attack. And on Friday, a number of users reported that they had issues with their Google credentials no longer working. Of course, Google has in the past invalidated credentials 
if they showed up in large collections of passwords that Google came across. This does not appear to be the case here. Apparently, just uh, some kind of failure in their authentication system that uh, led to users uh, being flagged as locked out of the system should be uh, fixed by now. If you still see issues, please uh, let us know. It would be interesting to learn more about it. But according to an official statement by Google, this was not related to any security incident. Well, this is it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.